good evening everyone hello and welcome to tagmecollege.com in today's webinar we'll discuss about the difference between cat versus gmat we'll take up the question and answers round at the end of the session okay so let's begin with the cat versus gmat webinar before I start, I want to tell you about the Tag My College. Tag My College is a website that allows you to search thousands of higher education colleges and courses. You can see the details like colleges, courses, entrance exam, admission process, college fees, etc. If I am audible to you all, then please kindly type yes on the question box which is on the right side of your screen. Okay, I got the response yes. So here I begin with the webinar which is about CAT versus GMAT. Many of you must be into dilemma that which exam is more better, CAT or GMAT? Which is more tougher, CAT or GMAT? for which I should go for. So here we come up with all your queries, okay? So the CAD is all about, it means that common admission test. It's a computer-based exam basically in India for the admissions in top colleges of B school which offer MBA programs. CAD exam is organized once in a year and the score is obtained in the test which is valid only for one year. It is basically the CAT exam is for India only. I repeat, it's for Indian universities only. The number of students appear in CAT exams each year is approximately 2 lakhs. Every year almost of the students appear for the CAT exam. Total of 19 IMs participates in CAT along with top management institutes like FMS, MDI, NTI, SPJAN, Department of Management Studies at IITs, Manipal University, ITM Delhi, Chandigarh University and many more. So here I come with the admission process and the application process. You all must get before you fill the form you all must get confused at what are the dates what are the when to receive the test date registration date and result date so the registration dates are in between august to september admit card is received by and students received by the student, candidates or the students from from mid of october yes from october onwards and test date is tentatively from between November to December and the result declared as mid of January. The CAT exams registration dates are now open. You can fill the application forms if you have not yet, yet filled, okay? Admit card is being received from 18th October. I mean in upcoming 18th October you can receive the admit cards. And test date is declared by the IM that is 4th of December. The CAT question paper is divided into three sections. Because before you, as you all must have not appeared for the CAT exam yet, so you all must have a query that how does how does it look like and many have like how uh, how many sections are there in the CAD paper so basically the CAD question paper is divided into three sections the first is quantitative ability verbal and reading comprehension data interpretation and logical reasoning is the third section basically these three sections are divided into two types of questions that is multiple choice questions and non-multiple choice questions. So in quantitative ability 14 MCQs are asked and 20 non-MCQs are asked. 
Verbal and reading comprehension, 24 MCQ are asked and 10 non-MCQ are asked. Data interpretation and logical reasoning in this, the 8 multiple choice questions are asked and 24 non-multiple choice questions are asked. Now let's have a look on the CAT percentile. CAT cutoff fall in the bracket cutoff that is 95 to 99.8 if you score around 95 to 99.8 then it is for the IMs okay and the candidates qualifying for the cutoffs of the respective like if you score less than 95 or 92 you need not to worry there are many other top B schools which accept the CAT score and also offer you a good MBA programs. Once you are completed with your results, and from the, once you are completed with the registration process and you the results are also declared, then you have to go through the CAT counseling. The CAT, the CAT counseling tells you about the admission according to the your according to your percentile the college is being allotted to you. Okay, so you need not to worry if you score less than 95 or 92 or like that. You need not to worry. There are many good top B schools or colleges which accept your CAT scores and provide you with the good MBA programs. Now let's have a look on top colleges accepting CAT scores. I can see the question asked by the Pratik Mohanty is that is IMIS Bhuvaneshwar a good college to pursue and PGDM? Will answer you Pratik, once will complete with it, will answer you. It's a good question you asked. Just have a wait in patience, okay? Now, let's have a look on the top colleges accepting CAT scores. First one is Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad, IM Ahmedabad, IM Bangalore, DMS, that is Department of Management Studies, Indian Institute of Technology, Faculty of Management Studies, University of Delhi, Shaleja Mehta School of Management, IIT, Department of Management Studies, IIT, Madras. Okay. So now we will move forward to about GMAT exam. What is GMAT exam? The Graduate Management Admission Test. It is a computer adaptive test which assesses a student's analytical writing quantitative writing skills, verbal and reading skills in standard written English. GMAT is basically for, it is accepted worldwide. That means it is accepted in India as well as foreign, as well as in foreign universities also. The du duration of GMAT is 3 hours and 30 minutes. The GMAT is conducted at 600 test centers in 114 countries. The candidate can apply multiple times in a year as CAT exam is just applied once in a year but GMAT exam at the same time can be applied multiple times in a year. Okay, am I clear to you all? Please type yes if you are getting the answers. The GMAT questions now I will t tell you the sections of GMAT exam. The GMAT question paper will be divided into four sections. The first one is analytical writing assessment. Second one is integrated reasoning. Third is quantitative. Fourth is verbal. The analytical writing assessment, the duration is 30 minutes. And the number of questions is one essay. In, in integrated reasoning, the duration is 30 minutes and number of questions is 12. Quantitative duration in minutes is 75 and number of questions asked is 37. Verbal duration in minutes 75 and number of questions has been asked 42. The grade of GMAT is valid till 5 years and the score ranges from 200 to 800. Means the score you will 
score the score you will score is that 200 to in between 200 to 800 that means the marks the scorecard which is going to tell you about the score you scored in between 200 to 800 Now we step ahead about the GMAT exam, which tells you about the which, which tells you about the increment of ten points. Okay, so in GMAT scores are given with an increment of ten points. That means if you score five hundred, then the ten marks extra will be scored by you. It will be added. That's the marking scheme from the Graduate Management Admission Council, okay? More than 21,000 universities, schools in USA and other countries accepts the GMAT scores. There is no fixed official GMAT dates. You can choose according to your convenience and availability, and obviously, by seeing your flexibility. In CAT exams, there is a fixed date you have to give the exam within a fixed date but in GMAT exam you have you have no such strict dates you can choose according to your convenience and availability the candidates can avail their GMAT result as soon as the exam is over okay for instance like in CAT exam the date is fixed and the results are out on the fixed date but in GMAT exam the Results are provided as soon as possible. As soon as you complete it with your exam, the results are being declared within within an hour or within a day. The results are declared. Sami Zafar has asked that in GMAT, which colleges are best to study and at a minimal cost? I mean, within top hundred list. Sami, we are coming with coming up with your answer. Just have a patience. Just have a patience. We'll come up with answers. We have, we will tell you about the colleges. Okay, Sami. Now we'll see the top colleges accepting GMAT score. See, Sami, here we come up with the, uh, here we come up with the colleges, and uh, and there are more slides which will tell you about the cost also. So just wait. Some top colleges accepting GMAT scores are Stanford University, Stanford Graduate School of Business, which offers MBA program and accepts 740 of GMAT score, University of Chicago, Booth School of Business, offers MBA program and GMAT score is 720, Harvard Business School, which offers MBA program and it accepts the 730 GMAT score. University of Pennsylvania and Wharton offers the MBA program and the GMAT score is 7 to 8. Northwestern University, Kellogg School of Management, which offers MBA program and scores which accepts 717. Dartmouth College, Tuck School of Business, which offers the program, MBA program and accepts 716 GMAT. Shivam, I think now slides are not going fast. If yes, if no, then please write it. Okay. Shrikant will Shrikant has asked that please tell which universities gives the admit without work experience, please write the question correctly. I request you to write the questions correctly so it's easy to answer, Shikant. Okay? Now, the basic difference between CAT and GMAT. Let's first get into the type. CAT is computer-based standardized test and GMAT is computer-based adaptive test.
Pratiksha kya has asked the question that how many questions one should solve correctly in CAT for getting a percentile around 95 plus. Pratik will take up all the questions once we'll end up with the slide. Okay, Pratik? So the computer based, uh, see CAT is computer based standardized test and GMAT is computer based adaptive test. The skills tested are quantitative aptitude, data interpretation, data sufficiency, verbal ability, reading comprehension, logical reasoning and analytical reasoning. In GMAT, the, in, in GMAT test, the writing is more focused, that is quantitative reasoning, integrated integrated reasoning and analytical writing. Purpose, admission to postgraduate in management programs and IMs and in other Indian universities and colleges. In GMAT, admissions in graduate programs of business management and in international universities. CAT is conducted once in a year, that is between November to December and GMAT is conducted multiple times in a year. The duration of CAT is 3 hours and GMAT is 3 hours 30 minutes. I repeat, 3 hours 30 minutes. The score range is between 0 to 400 and in GMAT the score is from 200 to 800. The validation of a score is for 1 year and in GMAT the validation of a score is 5 years. Acceptance is results are accepted in Indian universities and in GMAT results are accepted worldwide. So CAT exam, as you must have been very clear about it, CAT exam is a computer-based test which examine the uh, which examine the an individual on the basis of the skills, that is integrated reasoning, quantitative ability, and verbal comprehension. And GMAT exam, one question will be asked at a time, and depending on the accuracy of your previous answer, the difficulty level of next question will be increased. On the basis of a skill tested, as we have know that CAT exam skills, which CAT exams examine the skills which are quantitative aptitude, interpretation, data interpretation, analytical reasoning, logical reasoning, and verbal ability. GMAT exam includes the quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, and integrated reasoning. If we look into the purpose of it, that it is for the MBA in IIMs and GMAT is the program of business school in other countries and international and also in international universities. On the basis of acceptance and validity, results are accepted in IIM and top Indian universities and colleges and the grades are valid up to only one year. GMAT exams are accepted worldwide in top world colleges and universities and the grade and scores are valid up to 5 years. CAT is conducted by IM. 
and GMAT is conducted by Graduate Management Admission Council. On basis of conduction and the duration, it is conducted once in a year and the time duration is of 3 hours. In GMAT exam, it is conducted multiple times in a year and time duration is 3 hours 30 minutes. In CAT question paper, you cannot navigate within a section, sorry, in GMAT exam, you cannot navigate within a section, but in CAT exam, you can navigate within a section. Three points are awarded for every correct answer in GMAT exam. One point is deducted for every wrong answer in GMAT exam. Indian colleges accepting GMAT scores. Sami, I think here we come up with the answer. ISB, Indian School of Business, Hyderabad, PGP, YLP. It accepts 700, out of 800, it accepts 700 GMAT scores. And the fees is 25 lakh. And the fees is 25 lakh 54,075. IEM Ahmedabad, which accepts the 706 score of GMAT, the fees is 24 lakh. IEM Bangalore, which accepts the 695 GMAT score and the fees is 22 lakh 77,500. IEM Calcutta, which takes above 700 plus GMAT score, the fees is 22 lakh. IEM Lucknow which accepts the scores of 680 and fees is 19,11,000. Exilarai Jamshedpur, which accepts the GMAT score at the 700 and the fees is 14,95,000. So here I end up with my slides and let's welcome to all the questions asked by our students. By Pratik Mohanty, question asked by Pratik Mohanty that is IMI's Bhubaneswar a good college to pursue PhDM? Yes, it's a good college to pursue PhDM. As Silicon India give this college to be seventh rank all over India. So Pratik, I think you dance the question of your answer is being told. Now the question is being asked by Prati Shakya, how many questions one should solve correctly in CAT for getting a percentile around 95%? It depends on the normalized score and your accuracy. Okay? Like if you get 43 questions in total correct, I assume 100% accuracy. If you attempt 43 and get all of them right, this is slightly improbable. So suppose you want to get 60 questions right and you have an accuracy level of say 70%, the total attempt should be 60 divided by 70, that is 86 questions should be correct. Then you can score 99.5% time, okay? Okay, uh, the fee for GMAT, as asked by Bhaskar, that uh, it's 250 US dollar. So, according to the US dollar rate, you can convert into in Indian currency and you will get the correct amount. That will come around some 16,000 like this. Okay, so 250 USD dollar, I mean like the dollar change, the dollar rate changes. So, this convert into 250 USD. In Indian currency, you will get the answer. As asked by the Shivam Jan, that when where the GMAT exam is held, 
the GMAT exam uh, when you will first when you will apply for the when you will apply the centers will be mentioned in your admit cards and the nearby town the places you have been selected the places it being given to you I think Shivam I have answered you yes I wish Hyderabad is a good college to pursue MBA Sami Uh, as asked by the uh, Pratik Shakya that House Crash University for MBA, it's a brilliant college for the MBA. I mean, you should go for it. Shivam, the FMS college is good. That is Faculty of Management Studies. It's a brilliant college for the MBA. Shivam, as you have asked, the GMAT fee, the GMAT fee is 250 USD dollar as I told you convert into an Indian currency as the dollar currency fluctuates so please convert into Indian currency you will get the amount it is approximately the amount is 16,000 something As asked by the Shivam Jan that uh, in CAT will I be able to get this score? Okay, the question asked by the Bhaskar that in CAT will I be able to get this score before the results are announced in percentile? No, you won't be able to get this score before the results are announced. Okay. Okay, as been asked by uh, by the Sami that which colleges in GMAT entertain freshers, mostly they look for yes, they do look for the work experience. So we'll 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 tell you about the uh, colleges as the, it is a long list of colleges. So we'll email you, okay, Sami, and you please get connected to us on email or on our Facebook page. As asked by the Shivam that, that, that he can only fill CAT exam form and please tell me other top exam form. You can go for ZAC, CMAT and MAT exams in December. Uh, as asked by the Ashok Tarvdar that what about scholarships, Indian colleges don't provide a scholarship whereas international colleges does. So can you highlight any Indian colleges that do provide scholarships? Ashok Tarvdar, there are scholarships, many Indian scholarships like uh, uh, Azim Pendi Foundation and there are scholarships which gives you the like uh, which, give, uh, which gives you the scholarships 
and provide because uh, it depends on your results and the score you have uh, obtained in your graduation or in your class 10 and 12. So according to that, you will get the scholarships. Shivam, as you are asking, there are many colleges, top 10 colleges of CAT and GMAT, as we have also mentioned in our, in our slides. So you must have get the answer. And if you, still, if you are not fulfilled with, the, with that, we can we'll email you, just get connected with us on our Facebook page. There are top colleges of CAT as I am Ahmedabad, Kolkata, I am Lucknow, Exilar, I am Shepur. These are the top five colleges I can tell you. And for the GMAT, as I, as I have discussed, Howard Business School, North West, uh, North Western School, and uh, had uh, Pennsylvania University and Dartmouth Business Schools, Columbia University. The other top GMAT colleges, which are there for the MBA. As asked by the Pratik Shakya that what is the average sal salary, it depends from which college you are doing and if you are doing from top IMs then you will get the package of 1 lakh, 1 lakh sort of in a month, in a month and the total package will be like 12 lakh to 18 lakh that depends on your work experience, on your education and everything. And for the fresher that will lie between 18 lakh to 13 lakh. 18 lakh to 30, sorry. As asked by the Shivam that according to you which one is best, CAT or GMAT, see again it's not, a, it's not about good or bad, it's all about your priority and it's all about the your, uh, your score which you want to go for and your expenditure. The average salary of Christ University is 7 lakh to 10 lakh. Am I clear Pratik Shakya? Please type yes if you get an answer. Okay, as Shivam said that uh, he has got all the answers and clear for and all his doubts are clear. Okay, thank you Shivam. Now, uh, the question has been asked by the uh, Sami Zafar that what is the minimum qualifying score need for XIES and XIMB? The admission test, I mean like uh, The qualifying score is that you have to score the like ZAT, CAT, GMAT and the cutoffs goes 91 plus, okay. So in quantitative aptitude you have to score 75 and in data interpretation you have to score 65 
Uh, this overall your score should be 90, then you can go for XIS. The, you, the minimum qualifying score is this. And for XIMP, is that you have to score 75 for the quantitative reasoning. And for verbal ability, you have to score 85. That is all over 90s you have to score so that you, you go for so that you get qualified for the exam score. Okay, Sami, if yes, if I'm clear with your, all your doubts, please type yes. Any doubts to anyone, then they can ask. If, if there is any questions and inquiries, you can come up with the questions once again. Then I can. Is there any questions? Now I will move forward. Our services are admission forms. We provide for the admission forms. You can also you can also fill the form admission forms with our help. We'll guide you and we'll be there to tell you that which colleges is best for you and we'll help you out in, in filling the admission forms. Comprehensive list of colleges which we will tell you about the best colleges which is suited for you and which is best for you. Mock test. We also get, we also prepare students for the mock test like the, uh, the individual or candidate who want to go for the CAT, MAT, ZAT exams will tell you to how to prepare for the exam by by mock test. We also give cash back on filling the college forms and the comprehensive list of exams are there, comprehensive listing of courses are there and comprehensive listing of colleges. With that we provide cash back, mock test and admission forms. You can also contact us on a number that is 9112447633660. You can also contact us and with that you can follow us on Facebook page as you many are must be on active on Facebook page. And you can also follow us on Twitter as well as you can drop us email that is support at the rate tagmycollege.com. Thank you for the hearing and thank you so much for being a part of Tag My College. As here I end up with my slide that is CAT versus GMAT. Is there any query or for, or for feedback? You can contact us or you can also drop a mail on support at the rate tagmycollege.com. Have a good evening.